into Under the Lights. I'm Ashley Moore, joined by David Littman, and it's yet another Friday. Uh, it's almost hard to believe we're at week <laughs> eight already. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it seem like the season just started? It does. You know, every Friday we're super busy from start to finish, so I think it's just going by super quickly, but I'm yeah. sure some of these teams wish you could slow it down a bit, especially with the push to playoffs. Yeah, we're, we're getting down to it the last couple weeks. Some teams playing for positioning, some teams just fighting to find a way into playoff consideration at this point. Absolutely. Well, we got two good teams for our game of the week. Oh, for sure. Both undefeated, so let's get straight to it. Russ Russ at Grand Saline. And that's where we find our Bryce Brown eyes and Bryce. What's going on with the game? Ashley, David, it's been a chippy game all night here at Indian Memorial Stadium. We had a little bit of fights break out during the game. We even had a West Rusk player get ejected. The coaches might not like it, but hey, it does make for some pretty good football when it gets all physical out there on the field. Let's check out some of those highlights from the first half to see how this one went. We had a lot on the line tonight in Grand Saline between two teams undefeated so far in district play. The Indians taking on the West Rusk Raiders, and it's the Raiders getting started early and quick. And in Mata on the speed option, he'll toss this one out to Noah Murphy, his running back, who takes it all the way into Indian territory. Strong start there for the Raiders, and that run game was sizzling all game long. They'll cap the drive off here with the handoff to Tate Winings, lowers the shoulder, and powers in for six. That's a Raiders touchdown. Down. Grand Saline would get the ball next. Their quarterback, Preston Anderson, looking to get something going. He's going to go ahead and toss this one out into the flat, and his receiver is going to find some space for a pretty nice game. But unfortunately, they won't be able to get much more momentum than that as Wes Rusk will take this one back over into the second quarter. Let Andon cook. He wants his receiver deep. He gets his receiver deep. That's Jeremiah Smith. Makes the defense look silly on that juke move, and he's going to cruise in for another touchdown on the way to some West Rusk domination. Yeah, guys, I said West Rusk domination. I still stand by that, but as we speak, Grant Saline's trying to mount a furious comeback. West Rusk still does have the lead. It's 38 to 28 right now. About five minutes left in the fourth quarter, but Grand Saline is driving. They've really picked it up in the second half. We'll keep you updated with the final score and that interview with the winning coach coming up a little later on, guys. Absolutely, Bryce. Did you talk to Baby Shark, though? I saw Baby Shark was in a stance. I was going to hit that little Baby Shark dance. <laughs> Okay, Bryce, thank you. I know you got a game to get to, so I'll let you do it.